Let's go over how we would construct a page using HTML5 semantic tags rather than using uh, just XHTML with div and attributes. So again, we're working with a resume page here. It's just the simplest to mock up. And as you can tell, there's not really any difference in how it appears at this time, but semantically we're using HT, well, we're using HTML5 and we're using the semantic tags. And so um, it's gonna make all the world of the difference uh, in how it's actually being processed uh, uh, through the browser side. So first let's talk about um, how the tags are set up. Now this is just a, a Photoshop page showing a really example, a really simple example of, um, of how many pages are set up. I'm gonna zoom this out just a little bit. There we go. And usually you, you have a top section which might have a banner or navigation. Sometimes you all have a, a menu there, but um, for now we'll just go ahead and keep this as saying that we'll have a banner here, up here, or some type of um, heading information welcoming a user to a page. So the XHTML could, would look like this, where you would actually refer to the div tags. You might have spans, but in this section we wanna have each of these be block elements, so we're gonna refer to it as div. And you might use class, Class would be perfectly reasonable to use for this, especially uh, in the articles. In fact, actually, that's really kind of a typo right here. This really should be class equals article because we're calling it the same name. But we'll let that slide for right now. So we have div ID equals header. That's pretty common. You have div ID equals nav for your navigation area off to a side. Oftentimes you have a section area, or uh, it might be called main, ID equals main, for that main content area, and then you're gonna break it up into subsections, um, and then a really nice way to call it is articles, and that's how we refer it in HTML5. This is a, if you can read this, this is our aside, it just has an ID of a side, and then the bottom is a footer. So now if I just go ahead and hide that, and I'm gonna show it with the HTML5 semantic tags, Okay, so now HTML5 actually has these new tags, relatively new, because they've been around since 2010. And so uh, the browsers will recognize header as a tag, section, article, aside, nav, and footer, and there's more as well, but these are the most common for actually breaking up a page and structuring it. Uh, one of the first things you're gonna notice when you start to use these tags, if you haven't used these before, you're gonna use these and then it's not gonna specifically style a page. Like if you write aside, opening aside and closing aside, well that doesn't really do anything. It just creates a block element. It doesn't actually put anything off to the side. Uh, same with nav. Nav doesn't create navigation. So now here it is in the actual code format. T towards the top of the page we'll have the header now in this example, there's no carriage return right there, and I'm not quite sure why it's choosing to display it like that. So I'll go ahead and show it to you in Firefox, and we'll see that it actually does work. We probably wanna have a break tag there, but you do see there's a carriage return here. So the header tag is a block element, and then uh, there's gonna be a section, I believe, right here, and then that will be another block. And then each one of these uh, different areas here will be an article. So we're breaking the inside area up by using opening, closing article, then we have our data, opening, closing article, and then we have our data. And you know, formatting wise, I'd wanna have another break in here to make it look better. But um, back to this now, uh, go ahead and select the section. The section is just basically the whole main area that we have. And usually the way people code their HTML5 is they'll have a section containing that main area that I'm highlighting right now in this page. And then you might break out those uh, different areas of content, different topics with various articles. Mm -hmm.